It's been a great meeting so far, uh, but now it's me. <laughs> um, I see some people look a little bit tired, so I'll, I'll uh, do my best to keep you guys awake the next eight minutes. Um, the way I plan to do is, is to, to talk about a problem, um, personal problem. So I have issues. Um, <laughs> I have no patience. I, 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 uh, I want things to go like this all the time. I'm just like a kid. And this is me as a kid. So I'm on the bottom row, third to the right. We lived in Tucson, Arizona for a year. My dad was, was a visiting professor. Uh, this is 83, I was 10. Uh, I had left all my friends back home in Sweden, so I missed them. And what do you do when you miss them? When you take something like this, envelopes it's called, and then you, <laughs> <laughs> you write a letter, then you go to the mailbox and you, you, you post it, and then it takes Three weeks, you wait and wait and wait, and then you get the results, so you get some response. So what happened, you think? I stopped. <laughs> I lost contact with my friends. Nowadays, when I go here, I got Facebook, Twitter, everything. I just sent a uh, WhatsApp to my wife. I can FaceTime with my daughter tonight. It's, it, it's really, really cool stuff, this. It's big. <laughs> <laughs> so, this, so we go back in time again. So this is 96. This is me uh, doing my uh, PhD in, in Denmark uh, as a competition chemist. Uh, that's a Mac in behind me, it's working really good. Back then we had emails, that was no problem. Uh, but if I wanted information, then I needed to go to this kind of <laughs> horrible place. <laughs> it's a library. I, uh, it, it's huge, massive books and everything. I, 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 <laughs> I hated it. So we took shortcuts. I mean, it was even difficult to get there, so we need to take, to take, take sh shortcuts. So nowadays we have something called Google. So if I wanted to know, know something, then I just type in, for example, virtual screening. What happens then? You get something like this. So virtual screening is a computational technique used in drug discovery to search libraries of small molecules to find structures which are likely to bind to a drug target. So this is pretty cool. This is great. I get the information I want, I get it in real time, and it's easy to use. Even Gary can use it, I think. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Revenge. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So we set out to do something similar like this, but with virtual screening instead. So we wanted something like this, a web-based uh, thing, where you can just Google compounds instead of, of text. Why do we want to do virtual screening? Because virtual screening, that's something that we do best as, as computational chemists. Uh, so computer uh, drug design, it, it's difficult to predict, predict things. Some people say, say it's impossible. It's just like predicting earthquakes. So we're not even close to predicting when the next earthquake is, but if we look at the map, then we can see that some parts of the globe are more prone to earthquakes than other. Cambridge, Gothenburg, not so much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> California, perhaps. So, 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 so two years ago, if you wanted to do a virtual screen, then you needed to go to your Linux machine, then you needed to transfer the file in some format, then you needed to find the database, which was near impossible, so it basically meant that, that you need to regenerate it. Then you need to get a parallel version of your tool to work, and then you submitted a job, and then it crashed. <laughs> <laughs> then you fixed it, submitted it, and then you waited, 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 and then you got the results, and you could analyze. So this is not super complicated, but it's not effortless, and you don't get the results in real time. So I hated it. <laughs> um, so we managed to find a small pot of money, and we made this call fast VS basically looking like this. So it's a web-based uh, front-end, and you go there and search compounds. Uh, so what's under the hood here is we use some clever algorithms. We use Gaussians. Uh, I won't bore you with the details there. And then we combine that with new technology, GPUs, so that's graphical processes units. If you combine those, you get speed. So with this system, we can compare 5 million molecules per second, and, and this is 3D. If you want to do it 2D, then it's even faster without any loss in accuracy. So we do the, the, the same as before, just, just much, much, much faster. Uh, so it looks like this. You go here to this web page. Anyone can do it. You type in the AZID, ID, the SMILES, or a UPAC name, or you can type Lex uh, Nexium or LOSIC or whatever. Then you select the database you want to search. We have 10 preloaded databases. We can search the PDB, ISAC, external libraries, even virtual libraries. And then you select 3D or 2D, click Launch, and then you get the results like this. It's so fast you think something is wrong. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
it's so fast. <laughs> so it, is it used then? Well, we checked the logs. So we, 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 we did a, a, a release earlier this year. And, and the last 100 days, more than 1,000 virtual screens have, have been done. Pretty impressive, I think. If you calculate how many uh, hours that corresponds to, that's five, it should be GPU hours in total. That would have taken 50 days with the old system. I think qualifies for the simplification uh, thing in there. Um, <laughs> and our chemists love it because it's easy to use. They get the results like this. In fact, you can do searches on billions of compounds faster than it takes to open one of these uh, <laughs> D360 ERM. <laughs> so it's, yeah. yeah. Um, so it feels good. <laughs> just, just love, no hate anymore. So I like to say that we have uh, democratized virtual screening. Anyone can do it. Gary can do it. Any, anyone can do it. Uh, and, and just to give you one example, so this is a project from CVMD. Um, it, this is a very early project. There is some information out there. So we got s some information from, from the literature, from, some from assay development, fragment-based uh, lead generation. So we use these, and then we do uh, small searches. So the, the, the guy, um, the um, lead chemist, Anders Johansson, took one compound, the one to the left there, which we got as a hit from the assay development. He ran it through the program, and then he got a, a number of compounds, which we tested. And then we got the compound uh, to the right, which is uh, 10 times more potent, and it happened very, very, very quickly. So the future, well, we got something called Nucleus. And just by accident, I managed to find this. So this, this guy called Jonas, um, he says what he thinks about the future. And, and, and I think we, to be successful in this space, we need to put a lot more time and resources into this. <laughs> so, uh, how humans work, so this is what I think. So first, when we see something, then we resist, then we accept, and finally we expect. So I expect everything to happen like this, and now I wonder what you think. <laughs>